All right, all right, all right. This is Intuitive Impulse coming to you with another message. This message is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember that these messages are general messages, which means that some parts of this message may resonate with you and others may not or may not resonate with you at all. If it does not resonate with you, check your other placements on this channel and there may be a message there for you. Time is fluid and energy is reversible, which means that I could be speaking to you. I could be speaking with your partner. You can feel free to flip the energy and I could be speaking to your past, present, or future energies or a combination of all three. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please run up those likes. It helps bring my message out to people who would not have normally have seen it because YouTube will bring it to the top of the pile. For those of you who are my subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you sticking in there with me. Um, for those who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And without any further ado, here we go. The first card out is separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. Ooh. Okay. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. We have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, of fun to shine. Now, playfulness was in the last reading, which was Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, please look at that reading. Also, we had reconciliation in no, reconciliation wasn't there and separation wasn't, but it said past life person, a past life person was coming back um, for them. So you could be the past person for the Gemini. If that resonates, then you can go and watch that video. Okay? All right, so... With this energy, um, you may have been, maybe in separation with your person. If you are, um, this message is for you. And also, something came to me um, earlier in this week that you can be separated from someone um, and still be with them. Meaning you live in the same house, but there's a distance between you to um, even living in the same house. So that can be what's going on. And Spirit is saying there's going to be reconciliation with your soulmate. Um, and once you do extend that lightheartedness and that playfulness um, to get help get that spark back, um, For others of you, this is someone that you dealt with in the past, Cancers. Um, and someone's coming back for reconciliation, and this is possibly your soulmate. Okay. It says getting to know each other, enjoy discovery, discovering new commonalities, goals, and dreams as you get to learn more about each other. I apologize because sometimes I try to read it through the um, camera um, screen and it just doesn't work. Um, so after you reconcile, you're going to be getting to know each other all over again. 
right. Oh, okay, they popped up. I'm taking them. <laughs> Falling. <clears throat> Falling in love now. Losing control now. That's the song I heard when this came out. And my voice is not what it's supposed to be because I've been singing all day. And it's better now than it was earlier in the earlier read. But I, I heard that song. Fighting the truth, trying to hide. But I think it's all right, girl. The feeling of falling in love is one of a kind. Know that it is safe for you to be in love. Okay? Put that on the soulmate card. Accountability. Someone needs to take accountability for their actions. It may be you, your partner, or both. Acknowledging the effect of your behaviors allow you to move forward. Put that on the separation card because I believe that I know that the separation is because um, of a fight and or just disagreements or discontent and it takes two to tango um, so, so you both may need to take accountability for your actions or it can be a one it can be one person did something and they don't need to take accountability whether it's you whether it's your partner um, and this is whether you're living in the same house and now there's separation because of what was done or said. Um, or you could have, the relationship could have just ended and y'all went separate ways. Um, but once y'all do that and um, the person takes accountability or people, both of you take accountability, there will be reconciliation. You'll get to know each other all over again. Um, and you'll discover, if you don't already know, that this is your soulmate. You'll begin to fall in love all over again. Okay. It says, make a move. The time is now. Someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make the move. I'm going to change this because I do feel like you'll get to know each other after that. But I think the getting to know each other is in the flirting phase and making the move is the move towards reconciliation. Okay. Anything else? All right. It's a vibe. The good vibe and energy with this person that enjoy the good vibes. See, I need to stop trying to read this through the screen. Enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are like no other. I'm going to put that on the playfulness. Because you get to know your person while you're flirting in the beginning flirting stage. But the playfulness comes naturally when you have a vibe with someone. Okay, Cancer. Anything else for my cancers? All right, that is it. On the bottom of this deck, it says ecstasy. Your partner elevates your mind, body, and soul. This feeling of pleasure is electrifying. This comes into play after all of this has worked out. The separation of reconciliation. Acknowledging that this is your soulmate. Flirting. Playfulness. Taking accountability for what you have done, Cancer. Or your person or both of you. Making the move to reconcile. Getting out of the pride and the ego and the hurt. To make that move to fix the relationship and as you do that you'll begin to fall in love with each other and as y'all get to know each other better and i'm a i'm gonna switch this too this is your soulmate that you're going to get to know again 
And as you flirt with each other, the feelings of love come and the playfulness because of the vibes that you had. Okay. All right. We're going to clear the deck so we can get some more messages for you. These are better messages than last month. It's like some energy is being cleared up. There's a lot of chaos last month in my readings for people in my readings. Holy Spirit. Ooh, okay. Y'all just flew out of there. Okay. These messages just flew out of there. This one flipped over. It says trickster. And you see this person all painted up. Um, wearing a costume. Pretending that there's someone that they're not. Um, so, this could have been you. This could have been your person. For some of you, this was a third party that caused the separation. They pretended like they were something that they was not. You got in there and found out that you got tricked, cancer, or your person. Take it as it resonates. Um, or maybe you were trying to get over on your person, trick your person, not take accountability because a trickster doesn't take accountability for everything. It could be you, it could be your person. We have mother, so... For some of you, you could have children with your person, be a baby mama, flip the energy, baby daddy. There's also some secrets here with the moon. There's a steward, so um, that's protective energy. Mothers are protective of their children. But I'm also seeing a sword. Um that sheath, but it looks like it's coming out of the sheath um, and everything. Um, and I just heard cutting words. So in the relationship, you could have had a word exchange that was really cutting and hurtful. Again, if you're dealing with a Gemini, some of the cards that came out, even in the other deck, and what I'm getting from this message was a little bit similar. So, if you're dealing with a Gemini, check that message out. Um, we have Don Juan here. Mm. Yeah. Someone... Um, brought in or or entertained a third party um and your person found out about it if you're a female cancer because don juan is masculine energy gemini have femme fatale which is feminine energy So if you're a Cancer male, you might want to check out Gemini's reading for that portion. Gemini's, if you're a quad watcher, here's the Don Juan. If you're a female, there was a male who was bringing in a third party. Taurus came up in this reading. So you could be dealing with the Taurus. 
you could have Taurus in your chart. Hmm. If you're dealing with a Taurus, go to the Taurus reading Cancer. Because I believe you came up, all you actually came up as a sign in Taurus reading. Um, a sign that, that of someone that Taurus was dealing with. This month. Earth energy. Traveler. So you could be traveling. Hmm. You could be traveling in your dreams. Having dreams about your person. A spirit is trying to get your attention. So you be traveling in the 5D when you go to sleep. With downloads. Pay attention, Cancer, to what the spirit is saying. You might want to pray to focus in your mind. So you can get accurate downloads. Alright. So we have Libra. You could be dealing with the Libra, but as you can see, it's justice. Um, so you have the balance scales. Um, right now, Holy Spirit is trying to balance out the scales for you. What that means is whatever you sold, you're about to reap. Cancer, if you sold good things, you're going to reap good things. If you sold bad things, you're going to reap the rewards of that. Also in this, with the justice comes the sword. And justice is blind with me. That has no respect of persons. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be rich. You could be poor. You could be of high regard, you could be the lowest person, justice comes for everyone. And so, you're going to get justice or justice is going to be meted out on you based on your actions. So, if you were the Don Juan, you're going to reap that. If your person was, they're going to reap that. But make sure you learn that lesson. I actually just finished the readings for February. Um, it took me a little bit longer. So you might want to check out Libra's video if you're dealing with a Libra because cancer came up as one of the signs. That much I do know. So we have a uh, shadow queen. You may need to do uh, shadow work cancer or your person may need to do some shadow work. To heal your soul. Come to terms with those dark things, them hurts, those wounds from the past. Um, I'm getting that there might be some feminine energy around you that might be doing some things in the dark and they're about to come to the light.
Wow, that got heavy real fast. I got stuff coming out at me. Okay. We have extrovert. You could be an extrovert. Your person could be an extrovert. Um, you could be someone that gets a lot of attention or draws your energy from people. Um, outgoing. The life of the party. Or that could be your person. Um, I don't want to say flashy, but kind of, you have a, a unique way of dressing or your person does very stylish. Um, we have Aries, so you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, Aries is warrior energy, so you might be in a battle Possibly within yourself or with external forces, shadow, dark forces. You or your person. All right, so we have um, saboteur. So it could be someone, again, with this energy that tried to sabotage your relationship. You could have been a saboteur. Your person could have been a saboteur. Uh, we have Pisces on deck. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces. You could have Pisces somewhere in your chart. Your person could have this in your chart. This is water energy. Um, or you could be in a place where you're very, very emotional right now. Or something could have happened in Pisces season because we just came out. Or we're just coming into Pisces season. Um, so something could be happening in Pisces season. Um, possibly the reconciliation of your separation. Okay. Could be happening in Pisces season. Um, you, you or your person, you're opposites, yin and yang, just like this here, yin and yang. So if you're the extroverted person, your person is the loner, the introvert. Okay. Whoever this is, you're good with being by yourself. It could be you. It could be your person. But it says wanted, dead or alive. This person, whether it's you or your person, is going through a powerful, strong battle with this shadow person, this shadow queen. Okay. And they're wanted dead or alive. There's a battle for your gifts or your person's gifts with this shadow queen. This could possibly be the saboteur. It could be the Don Juan that came in as the third party. It could be a friend or family. trickster um trickster to me is is devil energy too um as a matter of fact um here if you look closely there's smoke here and i hear smoke and mirrors smoke and mirrors um it could be someone that was trying to tempt you away tempt your person away Whoever you or your person or both of you could be a boss, a CEO. Yep. That could be part of the clashing. Um, you're both 
could be strongly um, strong personalities. As long as strong personalities clash. Um, We got the signs. We got that. We're going to go to the angels' numbers. We're going to wrap this up. Um, these messages are a little longer today. 26 came out. And it says, you have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. I am tactful. That is you, Cancer. You're intuitive. You're emotional. You can pick up on people's emotions. You like to help people. Um, you get a, a, a good sense of what people need. Seven, seven. It is time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. I am brave. These are your affirmations. Anything else for my cancers? Oh. I'm going to take this because it came out. And this one was the one that was on the top of this. All right. 17. Your quality of work. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency focus and skill i am independent two you have great talent for finding solutions your innovative and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome i am diplomatic so, wait a minute. Let me just see. Both of these talk about your quality of work. Um, the, t the talent that you have for finding solutions and being intuitive. Um, this one talks about you finding an innovative solution. Creative solution. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, you are the bomb dot com cancer. You bossing up. Your person is bossing up. You just have to get yourself um, together when you reconcile with your person. I thank you so much for joining me for this reading. Uh, please. Don't hesitate to like so that this message will come up in the algorithm so other people who need to hear this message will be able to hear this message. Um, thank you, and I'll see you next message.